Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Cabinet. We're doing our AI only championship series. We are on the final round of the finals, and I think we have a good one brewing here. So I ended up putting the sieves in order of their place, current place, I guess, in the game. So Hammurabi is currently in first place with 2378. Gandhi is in second with 2304. So 74 point difference between one and two. Uh, Peter then is in third with 2154. So he's what, 224 away? So, you know, definitely definitely within range, especially for Peter. Then Simone's in fourth, and he is at 1856, so he's, you know, 500 points behind, five, what, actually, this is pretty easy, too, 522. <laughs> These are actually really easy math for whatever reason. Then Cyrus is in fifth, and he's got a bit to gain. He's at 1732, so uh, 650 points, give or take. And then Molly is in last, and he's at 1611, so that's, what, 700, almost 800 points behind, so Molly might be out of this I mean he's gonna have to have a really good game and everyone else is gonna have to have a really bad game because like the thing is not only does he have to catch up to Hammurabi by like seven eight hundred points but then he's got to beat like Gandhi by seven eight hundred points and so that's where it's gonna be really hard for him to win probably really hard for Cyrus as well it might just be between Peter Gandhi and Hammurabi so we got two overpowered sieves and Gandhi <laughs> I don't know what's with Gandhi, man, but he loves winning. Uh, so we're going to go Primordial. I really like Primordial map mode because I think it's one of the most balanced. Also, you know, a little more RNG might be interesting because we'll have a few more volcanoes exploding and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think with that, let's load in and I'll be back in like 600 hours for me when we actually get a map that works. So we'll be back in a sec. All right. So I gave up on Pangea <laughs> or sorry, on Primordial because I just couldn't get it. So we went back to Pangea and I think we're pretty OK here so essentially we kind of have two major islands and we ended up with Bermuda Triangle right in the middle which is interesting because that might actually take you outside you know so if you have a city in here you might be able to get out there uh, so we basically have forces over here on the western uh, kind of continent thing and then two on the eastern but I think everyone's pretty much right on top of each other which I think is gonna be a good thing so reveal all please uh, that worked, right? Yes, there you go. Yeah, but I think this is going to work out well. It's going to also offer some early aggression, which should be good. Dude, Babylon going right on top of Mali. That's interesting. Mali with four cities already. Dang. Wow. All right. So Mali's trying to make that comeback. Russia is only at two, and Gandhi is at three, trying to pop out number four. Dude, four cities. That's so crazy how quickly they got that. Three here for Grand Columbia, and then three for Persia. So remember, right now, it's between Babylon and Gandhi. If either of them end up in first place, chances are they won. Um, right? I mean, technically, technically Hammurabi. If Hammurabi gets first place, he wins. If he ends up in second place and Gandhi in first place, he could still technically win. But, you know, he's got to stay within 80 points. Right now, he's not doing too hot. He's only got 30 points. Uh, he is kind of, like, well defended here. So it's going to be, it looks like uh, Molly is going to go to war. But, you know, he's going to have a hard time there. Uh, he is going for the Hanging Gardens, though, early on, which, you know, will be interesting. And then is this his unique building, right? The Palgum? I think, right? It's not a wonder. Uh, Gandhi is also dealing with some barbarians. Molly might maybe be going for India instead. I don't know. I don't know. Molly's got to kill both of them, so we'll see. Russia did get city number three out, so a little behind on that third city, but not too bad. Uh, forest fire, dude, that forest fire is just wrecking right now. Uh, it's actually a rainforest fire. It is a little weird, but like rainforest fires can't catch forest on fire, and vice versa. I'm not. I. I it, Probably has to do with the naming thing, you know, because it's like named forest or rainforest or however it is. I think it's forest, rainforest, right? I think it's how it's actually listed. But anyways, yeah, so the forest towels, ironically, being right next to the forest fire are actually completely safe. Even though in real life it wouldn't be that way. So Persia has crap production. They did get the great bath up, though, so they're going to get a lot of faith out of here. Um, but they're going to need some more cities. Also, they can go westward. They can also go eastward. Honestly, Persia, this is probably maybe a really bad start. At first, I thought they had a really good start, but now that everyone's thrown their cities out, I'm kind of like, eh, this isn't looking too hot for Persia. So, well, I mean, we're going to keep it going, though. Mali has four down. Gandhi put number four right on top of uh, uh, Mali. This might come back to bite them. But keep in mind, Gandhi gets pretty large cities so we'll see um still only three cities for babylon so they're a bit behind four here and then persia only has three as well so they're a bit behind they did get maui so they could maybe get some production via that i don't know can he give you iron i mean he could give you definitely mineable stuff to get you some extra production but yeah we'll see uh babylon actually is in a pretty good spot here looking at it again because he does have a lot of room eastward a lot of it 
I mean, it really is going to come down to this mountain range, kind of who navigates it first. I mean, there's definitely kind of... Yeah, yeah, it's not really easy for Grand Columbia to kind of get over here, to come settle over here. But the other thing to keep in mind is, like, Russia could come settle over there too. So, you know, I don't think this is definitely, like, an easy win for Babylon. And, I mean, uh, India looks pretty good too. And, I mean, Mali's looking pretty good as well. Gao's flipping pretty early on, but we're about to get another era, so... We'll see how this ends up shaking out. Uh, I actually would not be surprised to see Persia get a Dark Age here just because I think they're kind of trapped. They just really haven't met probably a lot of people right now. It would not be surprising. Would not be surprising. They did get a Wonder, though. And they did get their unique building. I take that back. They should probably be fine then. <laughs> probably, right? Surely, 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 surely. Okay, so Classical Era hits... Uh, and yeah, Persia, Russia, Babylon got golden arrows, normal ages on the other three. So, Mali and Gandhi both have normal ages, so they're on the same era. Early walls popping out. Babylon did get the golden era, so Mari's gonna stay here. But this might actually have some issues here long term. Yeah, you know, if there's gonna be one problem with Babylon, it's their empire is gonna turn out to be kind of snaky. And so, if like Russia and India kind of fill it in, they might have some loyalty issues long term. Really, Russia just needs to keep pushing up, and they're doing that. They're doing that. Early score right now? Let's see. Hammurabi's in first place. Not shocked. Not shocked. I think he did have one of the best starts. Temple Artemis being popped up by Persia. It, it, I mean, if he's going to come back, that's what he's going to have to do, is start popping out a bunch of wonders. Um, unfortunately, he did just end up at war. Actually, that's Statue of Zeus. Never mind. Not Artemis. Did he switch that, or was that Zeus the whole time? Uh, he really needs Zeus right now, because he's at war. Uh, I assume Grand Columbia declared the war, but maybe not. Maybe he went for the war. Although he's taking Maui the wrong direction. <laughs> uh, now, I wonder if the AI actually prioritized also uh, Himiko over here for um, Grand Columbia. But I'm wondering if they prioritize it as a unit when it comes to producing the Statue of Zeus. Are they like, oh crap, it's a wonder. We need to switch to build units right now because we're at, you know, war. Or if they're like, oh, hey, we're going to get a bunch of units. Finish it. Finish it. Uh, all right, Hammurabi declared war on Mali because, you know, last game wasn't a big enough middle finger to Mali. <laughs> uh, actually, would not be shocked to see Gandhi maybe hop in on this as well. Uh, Hammurabi's not going to be able to take anything. He has it surrounded, but they're just, like, complete crap units right now. I actually thought you had two stars on it. I was like, how the heck did he get freaking... Is this Statue of Zeus 2? Oh, no! <gasps> and he did switch it over. Okay, so, yeah, the AI doesn't actually prioritize it like units. So Russia's going to actually finish building it. All right. That might have just been the end of Persia. Like, I don't think they're going to necessarily lose, but, like, they got completely crapped in, trapped in here. Oh, they're going to... Oh, man, dude, Persia. I'm sorry, buddy. I was really hoping for you. I was really hoping. And I actually thought this was a pretty balanced start for him. Turns out, maybe not. Maybe not. He could still come up here on the coast. I and mean, there's not going to be a lot of loyalty pressure here. I don't think, but eventually, I, I think holding it long term is going to be a little hard. Yeah, dude, he just got completely cut off, though. Like, you got to give the credit here to Grand Columbia, though. He just cut him off. He got super aggressive with the city, and he got the walls up quick enough. Like, he could have come over here. He could have come up there. He could have come him over there. So that honestly was just well played by Grand Columbia. And that's really what screwed Persia, probably more than the start, I think, ultimately. India is popping out their unique unit. So they'll probably be able to get a golden age after this. Uh, let's see. Who got the religions? So right now, the only religion is Russia. But Babylon also has a religion, and Persia had a religion, too. So that's three of the four gone. Uh, so that means India has not gotten a religion yet. A little surprising. You know, seeing as India always gets a religion. <laughs> Does he even have holy sites? He doesn't actually have holy sites. Uh, all right, so I don't think we're gonna see a Gandhi religion for once, huh? Huh? Um, Russia can spread the religion of Babylon, but as soon as he uses the Great Prophet, it'll remove the religion from that city. So, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. Mali getting a religion here would be good. Honestly, you know what Persian needs right now? Uh, not to lose Pasingrad for starters. <laughs> that would be kind of helpful. Just throwing that one out there. It looks like they're not actually attacking the horseman. This horseman's at 46 damage, which is kind of psychotic. And dude, Pasengrad is going to fall. Like, he's not going to be able to hold it. Yeah, he, there's no way he can hold it. But, like, what happens to the Great Prophet, then? 
He's just gonna get teleported, right? Like, Persia's got crossbows here, and he has spearmen. Oh no, the horseman died. <gasps> he killed the spearman with the crossbow, and he's gonna actually survive. Wow, all right, all right, all right. Um, it's gonna get completely destroyed here by the catapult, but like, there's no melee units. Like, the melee units aren't gonna be able to get it. And that crossbow is just clutch timing. Clutch timing. Dude, this is like two games in a row. Grand Columbia started off so great, and just kind of like, blah, when it came to like actually finishing a war here. India's looking scary, dude, guys. Dude, I'm... Mm, and he ended up getting Stonehenge, so he did get the religion. <laughs> Great. Oh, I can't wait to have our two religious colors that look exactly the same butt up against each other. Why are they always right next to each other? <laughs> Come on, can I get at least a little bit of room? All right, so... Gandhi's looking like the, it's it's they they want it they want it. I have to say Hammurabi is not spreading out nearly as quickly as I expected, um, and he's starting to lose some room because Russia's starting to settle up here. So it might be Gandhi's game to lose. It might be. It might be. So coursers popping out over here. Those are really early coursers too. Um, but crossbows are the great equalizer. Remember. So as long as he gets enough crossbows up, he should be fine. He really needs to get some walls popping out again. Uh, interesting. So Shar ended up f is flipping. So Persia got a golden age. Okay. Another. Wait, this is the same era. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, I thought this was another era. I was like, wait a second. Uh, now the government plaza is interesting because if he finishes that, that's gonna give a bunch of loyalty here, which is a good city to have it in. Uh, he ended up ninja in Pasigrad there with his coursers. Well then. Well then, Persia. Well then. Is Grand Columbia going to be able to use this to catch up? I don't know. So Persian normal age, Grand Columbia got a golden age. So they actually are now holding on to Pasingrad. Dude, Persia's going to get eliminated. Yep. Okay, well, I'm going to close the office door here real quick. <laughs> uh, something with lunch. Parker just does not like to watch Emily eat lunch. She feels like she deserves it. She never barks at me when I'm eating lunch. She doesn't really bark at me much at all. It's just for whatever reason. I think she sees Emily as like maybe a sibling versus like the boss. You know, she definitely sees me as the alpha. So she's like very, I'd say very submissive. She's a very opinionated dog, but you know, she's more likely to listen to me, but she'll still definitely bark at me if she doesn't like want to do what I ask her to do. <laughs> it's like, uh, like, hey, uh, uh, go get your toy. I'm like, Ruff, no, I'm not going to do it, you know. It sounds really cute, but, you know, at times it gets annoying. So, yeah, I think Persia's gone. Dude, Grand Columbia, you gotta give them credit. Are they gonna get enough points to storm back? Well, right now, the problem is Gandhi's winning. But he's got a lot of potential over here. A lot of potential. Persia, you were doing so well, man. From second place to, like, it probably gonna end up in last place now. Um... He's probably going to end up piecing, would be my assumption here. I don't know if he's going to actually finish off Persia. Usually they don't, like, finish off the AI. I say usual. But, okay. I'm glad Grand Columbia, though, put up a good fight here. And, I mean, let's be honest. Going into this, Persia and Mali were definitely the underdogs. And what's kind of shaking out right now? They're going to end up being probably the bottom two sieves. Unless Molly has a really good game here. Which, they're starting to get trapped and they're already in last, second to last place. So, yeah, it's kind of shaking out how it's supposed to then. And then you got, once again, two overpowered sieves. And then, you know, Simone. You could probably argue maybe Simone's overpowered. I don't think Simone's overpowered. I mean, the extra movement is really, really nice in Wars. But honestly, I think it has more to do with the fact that uh, Grand Columbia is uh, just a very aggressive AI, and it fits them. The aggressive AIs tend to do pretty well, and that's what's happening. And then I think Gandhi just has the massive population, and that's one of their biggest, like, A, they like wonders, they like religion, and they like uh, large cities, all of which help give them a lot of score. But I have to say, India's kind of out of room. I mean, pretty much everyone's out of room except, like, Russia right now. And keep in mind, Russia's not out of this either. So there's a lot of like, I have no idea. This is this is going to be an interesting one. I think we could probably, I mean, we definitely can eliminate Persia. I think there's no way Persia comes back from this and wins the game. They were already, what, like 600 points down? There's no way. I think we could probably even eliminate Mali at this point. 
Like, unless all of a sudden he starts, like, taking over all of India, which I just don't see happening. Uh, yeah. I mean, he is pu pushing my sword right now. But it's about to get uh, uh, walls, which is going to make it basically GG. Yeah. And did two wonders in there, though. So that, that is worth 30 points plus. Probably like 40, 50 points. But, I mean, I really, I think he's going to have to take over all of India to actually have a chance of winning. <laughs> Especially with uh, Hammurabi not doing too terrible. And then you got to remember, Russia's not too far out of it either. So, it's definitely a three-legged race. I think Russia is still in a really good spot, even though they're in third place. Because they got probably more room. Because right now, Grand Columbia is still kind of stuck by Sussa. They're kind of stuck by Sus. They got a lot of room over here, and Grand Columbia is definitely going to be able to make a push for it as well. I mean, how many points were they down? They were... 500. So they essentially need to beat everyone by, like, 500-ish. Which is possible. I think they're going to need more wonders, though. Right now they're building units. I think they're going to need a few more wonders. They got the Mont. And they got Kitok... Oh, sorry, Alhambra. But yeah, they're going to need more... If they're gonna need to, uh, if they're gonna take the lead, the Watt. Okay, that's not a wonder. Uh, Alhambra there, but I'm pretty sure Grand Columbia had a quicker build time. Mali, 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 Mali. That's not even to join the war. That's just to send money to Cyrus. <laughs> Poor Cyrus, dude. Uh, Babylon's building the Casa and Potato. So okay, it looks like Grand Columbia is gonna get a couple wonders. I don't know. If Babylon's gonna get enough points here. It's going to be interesting here. So, like, I don't know if Babylon's going to get enough points to beat Gandhi. And so then the question is going to come down to, is Russia going to be able to catch up, or is Grand Colombia going to be able to catch up? Russia's going to have to keep popping out cities here. They are a little on the snaky side, so they're going to need another city here as quickly as possible, or this might start flipping, and then they might find themselves having some bad times. Essentially, what happened to Grand Colombia last game? Like, they, they're going to need some work. Uh, they're in the Golden Age, too, aren't they? No, they're in the Normal, and... But so is Hammurabi. Okay. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, all right, Sus ended up flipping, so Persia is now officially eliminated. So, uh, we probably could calculate the score there at the end. Like, how do you end up figuring out the score? Basically, it is like, what's their science? What's their, uh, great people points? The religion, probably, you'd say zero. And actually, he didn't even do it. Um, so it would be error score plus civics plus tech. Would, uh, plus great people would be his final score. Are we going to worry about figuring that out? No. No, because there's no way he's going to win. And he's going to end up with last place. So we'll just give him a zero and it'll be about the same. So if this was like the second round or the first round, we'd probably want to go back and reload and, 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 and double check on that. But the emergency targeting Molly failed. Is that a religious emergency? Uh, no. What was that emergency for then? Not entirely sure. Babylon's still popping out more seas than Russia right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little disappointed by Russia and their cities. Like, they come on. And the fact that, like, Grand Columbia now has sus is he can start coming this way as well. I mean, he's got a lot of locations still, though. And he's gonna be he's gonna get a lot of points here by the end of the game He just really needs to start popping out as many wonders as possible, too So Hammurabi and Babylon Russia and Grand Columbia. So everyone but Molly got a golden age. All right. Well, goodbye Molly <laughs> Nothing's flipping yet, but oh my gosh. Is that not just fitting? <laughs> Drinking some water here. My voice is getting a little rough These are long episodes and I talk really fast in these particular episodes because there's just so much to talk about in the AI only series so these just stress out my voice stress out my voice more than like anything the funny thing is like I should finish the uh, uh, series up today I don't know yet I don't know if my voice can take another one though I don't know we'll see I'm definitely gonna go a little bit longer we're not gonna stop here um, at the next one I think we're gonna go one more just to make it, you know, a little more balanced. Because it's like we've been having like a 30 minute and a 50 minute episode. And I think going an extra 30 turns will probably balance it out. So, ton of wonders here for Gandhi. And by a ton, too. Although the Casa was Babylon. Although he's beating, yeah, he's beating Babylon. It's a different continent than a starting continent, too. 
I thought the casa had to be on a different... Oh, no, it's if you build on a different continent, right? Or no, it's all cities on a different continent. I don't know, something with a different continent, and that's why I never build it, because it's not that useful. Yo, dude, I don't know what's Russia. What are they doing, man? Settle. Yeah, Grand Columbia's coming that way. Dude. Dude, all right. So I think it's between Grand Columbia, Russia, and Babylon. Or sorry, Grand Columbia, Gandhi, and Babylon. He's two points down. Remember, he's got to win by like 500, though. <laughs> so. Gandhi's like looking at that first place, man. Uh, we're going to need a fourth quarter comeback, though. We're going to need a fourth quarter to come back. He's, and he's getting another 60 points here. Oi. Did he finish the Kotoku? Uh, where was he building that? Or did someone else finish it? Uh, yeah, right there. So that's another 15 points. He's got the Chichen, and he's got the Casa. Dude, oh my gosh, Gandhi. Gandhi is having the game of his life. We're gonna have our first two-time winner, and it's gonna be freaking Gandhi! Like, what? Like, okay. So when Gandhi won the AI Only series, not the last one, but the one before that, that was like the craziest thing ever. Like that was just the most crazy AI only series. Like part of it was the mod we were using at the time that like just really screwed over a couple of the AI. It wasn't the most balanced mod. This one's definitely a lot more balanced. And so a lot of the major players, like I think Mongolia and Scythia didn't quite make it to the knockout rounds, you know, okay, same thing here, but still, when I mean and what that finals was I think if I remember correctly I think it was Georgia both Indias and uh, Wilhelmina I don't know if Georgia was the fourth but I know it was Wilhelmina and both Indias in the final four so when Gandhi pulled that one out it wasn't so surprising that he won there at the end but it was kind of surprising that he made it all the way to the finals I have to say, Gandhi has just absolutely looked great the entire series. I do still stand by the fact that I think he's well built for the Dramatic Ages, but he's won without the Dramatic Ages here in the finals. And I'm giving him the game right now. It's still a long way to go. And I mean, Hammurabi still technically is winning. But just like long term, I don't see how he's going to be able to keep up with uh, Gandhi here. I mean, Gandhi's almost out of cities. But Gandhi's got the wonders, and he's got the production to pop out more wonders. Um, he has the religion. And, yeah, Hammurabi ended up losing his religion. It looks like to Russia. So, really, he's got to hope that Russia kind of just blows up Gandhi's religion at this point. Because Gandhi... Oh, no, actually, uh, Russia also has uh, Mali, too. Okay. And then, literally, no one has a religion over here. So, what? Okay, so there is a very outside chance Russia wins a religious game then. Because he's already dominant technically, I think, over Hammurabi. Although Hammurabi can push him back. He also already has Mali. Persia's dead, and Grand Columbia doesn't have a religion. So that means technically all he needs to do is flip Gandhi. Which admittedly is not the easiest thing in the world, but... There is a potential chance. There's a potential chance. Which one? This is per turn, right? Yeah, I think this is per turn. So Gandhi's at 249 to 250. So it's not likely, because not only does he have to like push him, but he's got to hold on to everything too. So I don't think he's going to be able to win it, but how crazy would that be? And then Hammurabi ends up winning because no one gets enough score. <laughs> it's catch up. <laughs> that would actually be hilarious. Uh... Not saying we're rooting for it, but it would be kind of funny. Hammurabi actually just jumped up in the first place. Interesting. Uh, okay. Why, though? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why he just jumped up in points. He's got cores. Era score? I mean, he's probably getting a decent amount of tech score, too. Uh, he does have 120 in the wonder score. Okay. And the other thing to keep in mind is there's no Persia right now. So that's one less Civ building wonders. So you can see that we're definitely extraordinarily wonder heavy right now in the top two. All right. All right. I was counting Almurabi out of this. And maybe I shouldn't have. I mean, he's still got some room, too, to settle. All right. Okay. Just, okay. There's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, let's let's not give the game to anyone yet. Uh, Grand Columbia ended up settling all the way over here to Russia, which ironically is helping out Russia. 
Maybe you should have filled in a couple more spots here. I mean, it's not really that slow of a flip. It's negative two, you're about to grow, and he's about to throw another city down, so he actually should be able to hold on to it. Russia with the Dark Age is now losing Moscow. Okay. Which would go over to, uh, guess who? Interesting, Molly, normal age. So, not really changing much over here. Catholicism's flipping. Um, okay. Yeah, they're not really making much of a difference here. Moscow needs to hold on to their city. Not looking good, though. Are they at war right now with Babylon? Oh, uh, yeah, they are. Okay. And we got a, uh, we got a twins and we got an Arthur over here. And Russia's kind of weak. 309. Uh, stronger than Hammurabi, though. Yeah, I suppose Hammurabi doesn't have anything uh, besides Arthur <laughs> and Mulan. Oh my god, he has three heroes. That's another thing to keep in mind. One less Civ is one less person grabbing the heroes. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Dude, I love, like, freaking battleships already. That's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, so you're full loyalty, which is what we thought. And he didn't even throw down the settler yet. And he's still got so many city locations. Uh, we're first level flood already? Okay. Uh, I don't think... If there's battleships, there's got to be coal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I guess it's 170 already. Okay, I guess I guess we've been going for 24 minutes. But I was going to say... Flood barriers already? Dang, dude. I was going to say, we might see comets here a little on the earlier side than we've been used to. So normally we wrap it up here in two turns this episode. But we're going to go to the next one. So, yeah, we'll go to the next one. India's popping out Sinbad. Um, Terrible place for Sinbad, but, you know... If you transport Sinbad, which they don't know how to do, it wouldn't be terrible. Hercules for Russia. That's going to help them survive. But I'm pretty sure the war ended. No, nope, still at war. But he should be fine now. I wouldn't be too worried about Russia. Mm, Nazca got defeated and Cyrus was defeated. Nazca got conquered by Mali. Oh, I wonder if that was the emergency targeting them. Is because they took Nazca. Also, I'm going to close the door real quick. Parker came and pushed it open, and it's a little cold, so it's like, I kind of want the door closed so my computer keeps me warm. <laughs> uh, in the future, man, when the internet is dead and humanity comes to a, I don't want to say comes to an end, but, you know, falls from, like, you know, well, when, 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 when governments and civilization collapse, that's what I'm going for. People will use computers not to access the internet, but instead as modern uh, 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 fires to keep them warm. <laughs> and then at that point, you're going to be extraordinarily happy for your crap, uh, your crap cooling system. Actually, wait. Would a better cooling system produce more heat outside the computer? No, I would think... Actually, that's a good question. I have no idea. I could see it both ways. Because a really good cooling system is going to keep the card cooler and the processor cooler, which then theoretically should then be blowing out cooler air versus hotter air. Vice versa, since it's blowing out a lot more, you figure that it would keep everything warmer. I, I think it's the, the latter, though. Or the former, rather. I, 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 I think the better your cooling system, the, the cooler your room stays so moscow is going to totally flip here unless he grabs something and that might well clearly hammurabi is going to win the game now <laughs> we're just saying it's going to come down to the comments it really is i think at this point who's going to get more punished india well grand Colombia is number one and then russia is probably number two but between hammurabi and gandhi hammurabi has a little less territory and they're still doing really good on score. They did come push over here. I imagine Grand Columbia is going to at some point go declare war and take that. I would be kind of shocked. Because they've been kind of aggressive. And then, yeah, 15 to 132. I would not be surprised to see this going quickly. Dude, he's popping out Hermitage. All right, Grand Columbia had a really good game. He just, like, he needed to not have sucked so much in that last game. Um... Sorry, got a text message. Hold up, hold up. I gotta respond to this. Uh, work one. I got to send my email. Uh, there you go. For work. I don't know, some personal order or something. I don't know, I'm supposed to be working again next week, but it's only one day and it's only like a setup thing, so it should take me like an hour, so it's not gonna be that big of a deal. So Moscow flipped. 
Arthur's right there to grab it, but I don't think he's going to. Uh, more likely, it's just going to end up flipping to... Ah, it's Free City right now. Is Babylon in the Golden Era? Normal. Interesting. So because it's so large, it's actually not flipping. Hmm. I might stay at Free City then for a bit. Hey, so uh, ran out of space on my computer, which yeah, if if I don't build a new computer this year, we're definitely getting to buy a bigger hard drive because yeah, 250 gigabytes is just not large enough. Uh, part of the issue too is I think like having because I've had this hard drive now for what like five years and it's been my main hard drive for like five six years, so it like slowly fills up with Windows files. And I know I delete some of them and I deleted some not too long ago, but I don't know. I just think there's just like a lot of crap that just like slowly accumulates I don't know and then I'm always like oh I gotta be better at like not accumulating crap on my hard drives but then yeah yeah all right so Moscow is not flipping uh who you flipping to uh Hammurabi but not by a lot not by a whole lot Moscow would be really nice for him though very very nice what's the score looking like right now Simone's in first place by about 100 points the problem is he's got the largest empire which means he's most likely to get punished by the uh, apocalypse mode so if he gets a little lucky he might be okay I don't know I don't know I don't really want to make any uh, guesses at this point but you know once again it should kind of even out which means he kind of needs to go take his what 500 point lead before the comets start falling really or you know get like a 300 point lead and just be a little lucky now Hammurabi is popping out really early spaceports uh, yeah, there's a chance he wins. I don't think it's likely, but there's a chance. There's definitely a chance. You know what? I'm just now thinking about this, and I hadn't thought about it. You know, we used to have t uh, AI win by 315, but that was before they added that extra era and that extra rocket. Yeah, that's why we don't see winners hardly ever anymore. Because it's just so much harder now, because you got basically that whole extra era. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never really put thought to that. So Russia, they need some love right now. They need to take over Buenos Aires, honestly. Uh, if they get a golden arrow, they could take Moscow back. I mean, honestly, as long as they don't get a dark era, they should start getting Moscow. I think if they have the same era as Babylon, they should grab it back. It should flip to them instead, but we will see. Molly is just kind of chilling over here, not really doing a whole lot of anything, which I suppose he's kind of keeping Gandhi from winning, so, you know. <laughs> Remember when we were crowning Gandhi the winner already? Yeah, dude, Gandhi. Wow, Simone's 200 points up, dude. Okay. Okay, I also thought it said great person Mary Kate. And I was like, wait, what? Mary Kate and Ashley Ellison are great people? What? <laughs> that, that would be an interesting mod. <laughs> random, random just actresses and actors. Uh, Dude, yeah, and he's building more wonders here too. Okay. So golden era there, Babylon got the dark era, as did India. We got to pause here, by the way. And then Russia and Mali with the normal era. Interesting. So Moscow says it's full loyalty. And still technically would be flipping to Babylon. Malgam, though, is going to flip. Okay. Huh. Is India losing anything? No. But honestly, you know what this? who this is great for? Grand Colombia. Because he can make a, he can start making a comeback. I'm still absolutely shocked here that Grand Columbia is not going for that. Maybe he's allied. He's allied. Ah, dude, that sucks. Yeah, that kind of sucks for him. Unless it's a cultural alliance, and I bet you it is because yeah, because that's not flipping. Can we see your alliances? War on Persia. Yeah, we can't actually see what his alliance type is. Unless Hammurabi showed it here. Declaration, declaration, yeah. So I, I think it's... Well, actually, you know what? We could look here. Yeah, it's got to be a cultural alliance, which is, yeah, just terrible. So if it ever stops being a cultural alliance, then maybe Grand Columbia can take it back. But for now, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Tomorrow, we will have the final final, and we will see who's going to end up being crowned the champion this year. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, share your support. See you guys tomorrow for the finals. Bye.